But we'll go now to the Lebombo border post. It's been closed again over safety concerns. The Border Management Authority is urging South Africans to avoid travel to Mozambique. Newsroom Africa's Mobile Madlala is there and joins us now live. Mobile, good morning. We can see a whole bunch of trucks behind you, actually, and the Road Freight Association is saying that those lines also extend as far as 10 kilometers on the South African side. So there are a lot of goods that are stuck there at the Lebombo border post amid the security concerns. There could be, you know, those, uh, their fleet and, and, and their cargo could be attacked. So tell us what you're hearing from the truck drivers there and what you're observing. Well, besides the fact that Iman, they've managed to sleep and l basically live for a whole week, for almost a week in their trucks, it's become very difficult in terms of the security concerns. We earlier on saw the taxi owners also taking a, a, a bit of help, assisting by just making sure that they are safe. They're saying that they have been driving around throughout the night just to secure the trucks because they know that this area has quite a a high crime rate but the people that are here are also from Mozambique so they've got families that are within Mozambique that they're also concerned about so I want to bring him bring them into the conversation to speak to us yeah in four days I shall call la Lana I gave the kuna toilet and then call them got to the fair Mm. Yeah, I call it fella. And 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 sub lalala. Yeah, ilala ko na la ma trakir and then lana eh come go smo push na and kore e ma challenge. Maya boya lana. Yeah, ma bailval ma tata olunga na shona fella. Mali ba tata e kuja ba ya tata la ma challenge la. Aku aku right. Um, ubusan ko talanje ba ubus unne family that side. Um, are you concerned about their safety, Bona? Yeah, na kuloma na wana wanga kaya ba kuwa pa amichumu aikasi, aikasi makama gravel a wapa na ni lani jaya pasare ben lani chawa ma challenge lani aye tili kasi aye lali kasi nje na kama track ulala wewe chama kastulu so yeah. Ene ekaya Bona ekaya the family yona injan. Ah, ikasi ikasi. Mm. You got the family car. But to Gwen Zagalani, that side. What? what is happening that side? Yeah, Le Vela, a life lay a bed, a curry, a mashop, a valili, a labantu, by a soke kaya, by a le imaketi, a mapuisa, mama bulala, Vel. Ma police, ma bulala, curry, look, babona labantu, ma poma, and lean, but say, by a le. A sterikin, abafunu ku labantu bayali batere kafel sterik. Yeah, ma police, ma police, ma tubule lavan. Yeah, ma babula la labantu basha lenzin, abana kusha, abana loot. Yeah, le kubed. Banja nuktu kwa tu kile, ba tu kile ban. Tu kwa. So, Kaku are they scared? Mm. Yeah, one of the fellas, a bachelet in a punch. A a police, ah, Baba Bula. All right. Well, Iman, two things happening here. These two um, truck drivers at this point. Um, so they've been they've been here since the beginning when the border closed, and they're saying that they've been sleeping in a truck. Um, most of the time, they have to sit and just sleep whilst they're sitting. That in itself is obviously exhausting, but also at the same time, they're saying they sleep with their one eye open, really, mainly because the area is known to have so much crime. So they're concerned about the crime that is happening in the area. At the same time, they are concerned about what is taking place at home. They're saying it's not all right. Um, people are saying that when they're coming out of their home, the, the police or the military 
is asking them where are they going and they're not allowed to go out. So it's almost as if um, they're supposed to stay within doors. So they can't go to the shops, they can't buy anything, they have to stay within um, their household. And they're just concerned that there are some people that have died. You will remember that the bone of contention, especially today, has been that they want the government to declare how many people have passed away being shot by the police. The number is still questionable in terms of how many people Reports have shown that over 18 people have already been shot by the police. And so that is the bone of contention currently. They're saying that they're concerned about the same thing because people are getting shot at. In the meantime, we understand that billions of rands um, are being lost here with some of these cargoes still waiting and the border not opening, mainly because of safety when you get to the Mozambican side. Uh, Ngobile, really, really distressing. And just listening to um, those truck drivers share their experience with you, one of the questions is, you know, where is the support for them? The companies uh, that these trucks belong to, should they be sending port facilities, ablution facilities to that border post? It's been four days. There would have been some opportunity for them to respond. And we'll try and get some answers on that. But yeah, go ahead. Well, some of the issues in mind has been the fact that the truck drivers themselves obviously belong within companies and these companies are actually um, at work. So this amount of money has been lost just on the road as they have been waiting here for so long. But if they move on to Mozambique, there's been incidents now of looting, which we saw a little earlier on, which was yesterday, where some of the truck drivers had to come back. We understand that at kilometre four, the infrastructure in itself has been destroyed that side. And this is where um, we know that this community, which at this point has been seen as Rosinia Garcia community, this is where the truck drivers pass through. This is where the looting has been taking place. And as a result, that border part has been affected as people have been angry. But part of the of the problem here is that the community is claiming, and these of course are still allegations, that there was um, an altercation with some of the officials and they did shoot somebody and so this was their retaliation. But all of these are still allegations until the government comes out and say that it did happen then we will know from officials what is taking place. But what we know is that these trucks when they go inside they do get looted. Some people have been hurt. Some drivers have had to come back into South Africa and be given medical attention because of the fact that when they go through these communities, they are affected. Meanwhile, you also have some people from the nearest communities that are coming into South Africa. These are border communities that generally would buy in South Africa and go back home. Those people have been this side, and we have seen earlier on when the police were trying to turn them away, telling them to wait at the stop where they are the taxes usually would be because a lot of them had gathered at the at the border hoping that they'll be able to get a chance to walk in people are getting desperate in mind they're even getting to a point where they've asked if they can where, where they're trying to use back routes and that has been taken off by SANDF right yeah, certainly one to watch. And Mobile Madlala, thank you very much. We'll continue to um, update with you during the course of the day.